My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. In this video, we will um, play with layers. I prepared um, a small map here that has um, at least two layers and they are a bit more complicated than in previous examples. So in this tutorial, we will not do a lot of Lua scripting, but it will be more about um, the subtleties um, of how to organize your map in layers. So we had some early tutorials about organizing your maps in layers. I think it was tutorials number eight and nine and something like that, where we had in particular this map with the bridge here and another map inside a dungeon with uh, yeah also a bridge. But the transitions between both layers was quite uh, simple because it used built-in entities. So here we had uh, a stairs built-in entity and here a jumper. So there was no Lua scripting required at all. Same here outside we had uh, some stairs and a jumper here. Um, yeah, back then we, we didn't know about Lua at all even. Um, so this time I think you you are skilled enough to do something a bit more advanced. So I prepared another example that looks more like a real life map um, where it's not so easy to um, to distinguish the, the two layers here. So clearly we have a bridge. So this should be on the highest on the higher of the two layers. And here we are under the bridge. All these tiles should be below. Uh, but how do you do the transition? Because it looks like a, a smooth path and there is no, no easy, no, um, yeah, no clear frontier between the two layers. So it's, it is actually your responsibility to, uh, to choose the, the frontier. And we also have here, um, this plant here where we can climb. So at least for this part, it's easier to, to decide. Well, there, there are multiple solutions. We, we could do everything on the low layer and only the bridge on the higher layer and um, make some entities to, to, to make the player, uh, yeah, to implement the transition between two layers, between both layers. So one here, one transition here and one transition somewhere here. Um, but in this tutorial, we will make, um, to have various examples, we will make one transition, well, here. So all this platform will be on the higher layer and the bridge will be on the higher layer. And the second transition will be here. So all this platform will actually stay on the low layer and the higher layer will only start at the bridge here. So. Yeah, all of this will be on the higher layer and all the rest on the low layer. And I, that's my choice. You can, there are always multiple solutions, but you, you have to decide. But here I decided that it was too complicated to, um, to have a, yeah, to, to decide where to place the, the transition exactly, because I, I need I need a clear um, a, a clear sequence of, of tiles where it's it's not so complicated if you will. I like when it's uh, when there is something straight, um, but you will understand why. <laughs> Let's first test this map. Um, by the way, I probably need to say initial game. This map is called Bridge. But that's probably not enough. Yeah, because I already had a save game. Let me just uh, let me just edit that map inside dungeon and make the, this teletransporter go to Bridge. Cool. Okay, so I'm on the map here. 
um, I will just save from there because I still don't have a save option in my <laughs> in my pause menu. We should do that one day. So here I'm on the higher layer, and here I'm I just fell into the low layer because I haven't put any particular entity. The only thing that I did so far is to uh, organize my map, like I said, th with all of these tiles on the higher layer and the rest on the low layer. So if I had layer one, this is the low layer, and this is the higher layer. And we can add layer two, which is just these leaves here, the top of the tree. Um, so yeah, we want to implement a transition here and another one here. And that's all that we need to do. So how to implement this transition between the two layers if we don't want to use the built-in entities that do very specific uh, stairs animations or jump uh, movements. Um, we want it to be actually invisible for the player. We, we don't want the player to realize anything. Um, okay, so we want to... By the way, let me show you the this part here. Sorry, I can go, go down and I actually fell into the, the lower layer and now I cannot go back because I haven't uh, done anything special. So layer one, if I zoom here, layer one is, I mean layer zero is that, and layer one is, boom, boom, that, okay. So, what you can do is put two sensors. One will make the hero, when the first sensor will be on layer zero, and its effect will be to put the hero one layer upwards so we can call it layer up sensor and similarly there will be a second sensor called layer down sensor sorry layer down sensor but this one will be at layer one and it will move the hero one layer um, downwards so we want them to be in this order probably like like this let's say like this so I'm gonna hide layer one again, so the high layer, I'm gonna hide it again, so that we can understand what will happen on layer zero. Um, we'll start climbing the vine, and we will touch this sensor, which is located on layer zero. We will be moved by, this, by the script that we will write in just a second to layer one. So I'm hiding now layer zero and showing layer one, boom. Now we are here, and um, yeah, and, and we will need to continue climbing to reach this point. And the other way around, if we climb down, if we go down and we touch this sensor, we will be placed again on layer zero. And our both sensors should be well; they should not exactly overlap. Otherwise, we would uh, infinitely. Uh, go uh, back and forth between both layers but the the lay the sensors that moves you upwards should be placed um, let's say after the the other one um, yeah so that when you go up you touch this one you go up and then um, since you are already here um, I don't know if it helps if I <laughs> show the whole grid but if you're on that sensor here, you haven't touched that one, so there is no risk to accidentally go back to the low layer again. Um, hopefully that makes sense, but if you try and do it the wrong way around, like this, you will immediately see that it doesn't work, because you will go up, and then you will touch also this one, you will go down again. So, undo, undo, and yeah, let's just write the, the, this simple code and layer up sensor on activated. So if you don't remember how to use sensor, there we, there we just use this small event on activated. 
and we will do he hero set layer hero get layer plus one very simple just one line so really this video will not be about lua because we are doing some very basic lua but more about um, these subtleties here um, and later we'll see how to factorize this code to avoid uh, duplication so what happens if we test this you will see that it's not enough I mean if I go down I heard the hero fall which means the sensor was not activated I just fell because actually I was over empty ground um, if I go up the sensor is activated but I immediately fall again so why if we hide layer 0 and only show the top layer as you can see actually um, here there is nothing there is no tile so the hero just automatically falls to the lower layer so even if my oops, sorry even if my layer here is activated successfully and sends my hero up one layer I immediately go back to the low layer so that's not what we want and you can hear it you can hear the little sound that uh, yeah of the hero landing to the low layer as soon as you activate it so that doesn't work how do we fix it well what we can do is let's make sure that there is something here let's just put any tile actually um, like a green tile why not but I need to put it on the on layer one Oops, sorry okay layer one is that so if I put a tile like probably like this it should be enough I put this tile on the on layer one so of course visually it will look very bad but we will fix that in a second step okay time to test I was sent back to layer zero this time we didn't hear the sound so the sensor was activated and oh it works okay cool uh, and all we have to do now is to actually make this tile invisible we don't want to disable it we want to keep it existing but make it invisible so to do that we can convert it to a dynamic tile maybe still put it below the sensor and give it some name like invisible tile and when the map starts we want to hide this tile so invisible tile set visible false So it will no longer be displayed but it will still exist so it makes sure that when I'm here I'm sent to the low to the higher layer but I don't immediately fall because I'm on this platform on this invisible platform and if I go back to the south again then I will touch this sensor and I will go back to layer zero so that works cool so congratulations you made an elevator um, but we have two problems the first the most important problem is that uh, if we consider layer one here we forgot to put a boundary and the hero the hero can just when he's on the invisible platform he can just walk right or left avoid the sensor and and just fall because there is no more ground here in the in the higher layer so we just fall in inside the the wall back to layer zero but in the wall and that's of course very bad so one way to avoid that is to put some some invisible walls to kind of protect the hero like this on layer one so that they the hero cannot uh, go here or there but only on the sensor and maybe to be super safe here 
even though in theory the sensor is unavoidable. Okay, and this time I cannot go right or, or left. And the second bug, <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed, but um, maybe I should zoom, make the window bigger. Um, part of my hero sprite here is below the vines, because I'm still on layer 0, but the top of the vines are located on layer 1. So it gets fixed as soon as I'm sent to layer 1, but for a few pixels it's, it looks wrong. How do you, how do we, how can we fix that? Well, it's not that easy because um, these vine tiles here, they still need to be on layer 1 because um, if you, if we put them on layer 0 then they will be automatically below this border here and we really need that border otherwise the, the hero, if we also put this, uh, everything on layer 0, um, well at some point we will have a problem. Visually it will still look good but uh, look what happens. Our border is now is no longer an obstacle because it's on layer 1 and I fell and now I'm, I'm, in, I'm on layer 0 inside the border. So that's bad. Okay, undo. Um, so as soon as you do this kind of stuff, you you always encounter these these problems. So that's why I wanted to to show you a, a nice example, and purposefully <laughs> run into all possible problems. Um, yeah. So how do we fix it? We can fix it by uh, shifting everything um, by of, of eight pixels. So that was for layer one. And same for layer 0, boom. And it's still okay if our sensor is here. It should still work. Okay, this time all pixels are correct. Um, maybe you don't like this um, invisible tile that is actually visible inside the quest editor. If you want, you can replace it by the actual vine tiles um, and make these tiles invisible. So let's do that as a small improvement. So what we want to do is to actually copy both tiles that are on layer 0 and duplicate them. Copy paste, but put this, put the copy on layer 1. and these will act as the platform um, that was invisible. So they need, they really need to be invisible because if they are not, they will dis be displayed above the hero. So invisible tile, maybe let's call it invisible tile one, invisible tile two, and put these exactly overlapping the uh, the same one that are, on, that are on layer 0. So they are really duplicated. And I forgot to update my code. And later we will make some better code to automate this and allow to, to make it work for any tiles that, that we want to, to be invisible. Okay, so in the game it's it's the same as when we had the the green tile here that was invisible because yeah since they are invisible you you don't see a change in the game but it kind of look, looks nicer in the quest editor. So once you once you have your working configuration here, I would recommend to copy it and to only pick the relevant tiles. Uh, well, not like not this one, but. You can copy this and paste it in in some uh, internal map that you that you have. Um, oh, we have the wrong tie set here, but uh, okay, ocean set outside. <laughs> Let's remove this. Uh, wrong key. Okay, and keep this on on some some map that you have 
where where you you can reuse stuff later because maybe you you will have these you will need this on at some other place of your game and since it's can kind of hard to to create the first time um it's nice to to make it more reusable that way okay so we made our transition here and to to make the the second one so we said here um because only this is on layer one we said um, it will be the exact same principle. So we want a sensor probably here uh, on layer one and a second one here on layer zero. The one on layer zero should be called layer up sensor two maybe. And the one on layer one should be called layer down sensor two. And same stuff. I will do an ugly copy paste and we will improve that in future videos. Um, okay, so when we read this one, we will be put on the higher layer but we will have the same problem we will immediately fall so it doesn't work of course um, how do we fix it it's the same we want an invisible tile to have this platform but we don't want it to be visible otherwise it would appear on top of the hero while the hero uh, is still on the lower layer um, okay so i already have a tile here i want the same oops but on layer one and i want it invisible so dynamic entity dynamic tile invisible tile number three and it will be here okay more copy pasting and that should almost work i think so i've placed my sensors quite randomly i'm not sure if they should be maybe eight pixel more to the right or to the left but let's see you can you can only see that by testing okay for now it works but what about these these tiles here does it looks correct Okay, it looks good. Oh, I'm traversing this one. That's bad. Yeah, this one should be an obstacle on both layers, actually. Um, so, it exists on layer 0, but it does not exist on layer 1. Also, this platform is a bit weird, because there is a hole here. The hero does not fall because it, he is 16 pixels wide, but still let's extend it a little bit and back to layer zero i want to copy these and put them on layer one and just make them overlap but again they need to be invisible otherwise they appear above the hero while we are on the low layer so same trick let's make them invisible uh, we can copy the name so it's never really easy to to do this kind of uh, smooth layer transition let's say you often need some some tricks some invisible tiles but here i think it works And it gets more complicated if you have some enemies in your map. Probably you want to put some invisible walls that the enemies uh, won't traverse. Or it will look weird that, that they are just stuck here and cannot climb the... I mean, cannot go on, on the bridge. Same here, you don't want your enemies to, 
to use the vine probably. Um, and one more detail, um, the vine is actually, it's, it has a special ground called ladder whose only effect is to make the hero walk a little bit slower. So it means that there is actually a small difference between my first version that has an invisible tile that was completely green and traversable. Uh, because here the invisible tile is actually uh, yeah, um, a vine tile whose ground is a, is a ladder, so it will keep the hero with a reduced speed as expected. And by the way, in the treasure chest, there are some rupees. Cool. <laughs> Completely irrelevant for this tutorial. But I think we are done. Um, again, I didn't want to focus at all on the code on this one. We made some ugly duplicated code and we will learn then how to do it better, how to factorize stuff and how to automate more. But here I wanted to um, give you a, a feeling about how, how you can um, implement some smooth transitions between, between layers. Um, to summarize, you um, usually need two sensors, one on the low layer, one on the higher layer, they must not completely overlap. Um, they can have more distance between them if you want, but they should not exactly overlap. Otherwise you get some infinite uh, loops. I mean, not, not really an infinite loop, but it, they will activate repeatedly. And you most of the time need some invisible tiles or some trick at least to make sure that the hero does not fall immediately uh, on the low layer after it was uh, sent to he was sent to the high layer and usually you need some small tile adjustments to make sure that uh, no part of the hero is uh, hidden when 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 it should not so it's never really easy that's why i didn't want to uh, make such a tutorial um, Back when we, we learned about layers the first time, when we did these tutorials number eight and nine, I wanted to keep it simple enough. But now you, I think you, you know everything you, that, that is needed to really have some fun. You know invisible tiles, you know uh, invisible walls, and you know about sensors, dynamic tiles. So a lot of things are actually needed to to understand this tutorial but now you have the knowledge this is tutorial number 47 right so i hope you you will be able to to have some fun and next time as i said we will clean this code and automate it will be uh, much much nicer so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial have some fun with your maps and i will see you next time bye